Today, let's talk about the new developments in the field of gas turbine engines that will change our world. The reason behind this is that the gas turbine engine has a number of advantages. It's lighter, more powerful, has fewer parts, less vibration, and a higher thermal efficiency, often significantly above 50%. In some cases, a gas turbine engine may even be the ideal environmental solution. Everything might seem perfect, but why don't we see gas turbine engines in our cars yet? A gas turbine engine consists of four main components the compressor, where air is compressed and heated due to compression above 500 degrees Celsius. The compressed air enters the combustion chamber and mixes with fuel. Ignition occurs, and combustible gases form at temperatures over 1000 degrees. The gases then flow into the turbine, drive it into motion, and it transfers energy to the drive shaft, spinning the compressor part for air compression at the beginning of the cycle. Then the exhaust gases exit. Currently, gas turbine engines are used in aviation, energy production, shipbuilding, and other areas where continuous operation and high performance are required. But in the latter half of the 20th century, some automakers attempted to harness the gas turbine engine for use in cars. Gas turbine engines were used in motorsports and managed to achieve good results in IndyCar, Le Mans, and even Formula One. Chrysler conducted a major experiment by introducing gas turbine engines into road cars, producing 55 vehicles equipped with gas turbine engines. These cars were distributed to regular people for testing. This car could burn almost any type of fuel, from alcohol to diesel. It had only one spark plug, no need to change the oil and no need to warm it up. The engine had a distinctive sound, but the noise was significantly reduced. As for fuel consumption, it was up to 12 liters per 100 kilometers of mileage, which was good for the 1960s. However, the gas turbine engine is efficient mainly at high loads, and with reduced load, as needed in city driving, fuel consumption does not decrease. As a result, fuel consumption was much higher. The experiment was terminated, and 46 out of 55 cars were destroyed. In the past, there were several experiments to harness the gas turbine engine for road vehicles, but as we see, it has not yet been achieved. Technologies are not standing still, and now electric vehicles and hybrids are being massively introduced. In hybrids, we increasingly see cases where the car functions as an electric vehicle, and the internal combustion engine serves only as a generator for recharging and energy transfer. This kind of scheme is used, for example, in Fisker vehicles and the Nissan Note e-Power. This allows achieving a real-world thermal efficiency above 35%. As such hybrid schemes become more popular, we see many new developments in internal combustion engines, where their main task is as a range extender. This is evident with linear engines and engines from INN engine. A gas turbine engine should be ideally suited for this purpose, it has higher efficiency at high load, and if the engine is used as a generator, low load is not needed. Secondly, there are ongoing developments in micro turbines, so compact gas turbine engines that are already widely used as stationary energy generators and are even used in prototypes of some cars. For example, Jaguar Land Rover, in collaboration with Bladen, carried out the development of micro-turbines, and even presented the 2010 prototype Jaguar CX-75. This sports car functioned as an electric vehicle with four electric motors, one for each wheel, and it had two micro-turbines for energy generation, which ran on diesel fuel. However, it didn't come to production in a short term, so Bladen designed modular stationary generators in 2017 which have proven successful by 2023. Such a generator weighs just 30 kilograms and has 60% fewer parts than a piston engine. There's only one moving part, and there's no need to change the oil because the engine spins up to 130,000 revolutions per minute and has an air bearing installed. This gas turbine engine offers better fuel efficiency and can run on virtually any fuel. Naturally, there are no vibrations, and it's quieter than diesel generators. This generator can operate for at least 10,000 hours without any maintenance or stops, and continuously generate 12 kilowatts of energy. If implemented in a car, it could work non-stop for a whole year, but of course, that's not necessary in a vehicle, 
so the nearest service in such a hybrid car would be at least 10 to 15 years. Moreover, this will allow reducing the car's weight by 15%. Another company involved in the development of microturbines is Capstone. Currently, they are mainly engaged in supplying microturbines for generators. In 2009, they were developing their electric car, with a 30 kW microturbine generator, called the Capstone CMT380. The prototype sounded something like that. By those standards, the electric vehicle had good acceleration up to 100 km per hour, 62 miles per hour achieving it in 3.9 seconds, and could travel more than 800 kilometers, about 500 miles, on a single tank. Later, Capstone collaborated with Wrightspeed on the development of electric trucks. Wrightspeed was founded by a Tesla co-founder. They removed the piston engine from the truck and replaced it with a range extender that weighed 10 times less. They also removed the transmission and differentials, replacing them with two electric motors and a small battery pack. The microturbine directs the generated energy directly to the electric motors, or any excess to the battery for later use, and energy recuperation became possible through the electric motors. The life expectancy of such a generator is 40,000 hours, and due to fuel savings and low maintenance costs, such a truck can pay off its higher cost. This engine doesn't require a lubrication system since it uses an air bearing, and there's no need for a cooling system either. The claimed fuel consumption can potentially range from 5 to 10 liters per 100 kilometers, approximately 47 to 23.5 miles per gallon, of the truck's mileage, significantly saving on operation. What do you think about using microturbines in hybrid vehicles? Share your thoughts in the comments.